early the next morning and here I'm about to take this wing out of the bag uh, let's just get this camera a little bit more focused on this hopefully you can see nicely there you can see I've got some weights on the outer cores which I put over to press everything nice and flat take the weights off remove the outer cores switch off the video of the vacuum pump, open up the bag, so just removing the seat clip here, get that out of the way, take this vacuum breach unit off. it easier just if you get the release form just to pick up the release form and I'll just to tear this pull the release form back and there basically is the wing revealed apart from the mylars that are still on it and this release form off There you can see the carbon leading edge. And here we have the wing basically. Now I'm just going to stick my thumb nail underneath. The mylar here, actually just find a place where it's loose, there we go. And that's uh now we slip the mylar off. That comes the mylar. It can be reused again. And that's the whole wing revealed. Now we just turn that over to the other side. Some Christmas presents. A beautiful shiny wing. Now, as I said earlier, I know there's going to be a little divot in this spark cap here because the, it's, it was almost impossible for me to try and calculate. Um, and this is going to get painted uh, to calculate the depth of the spar needed uh, or the groove needed for the spark cap. So I'm going to have to fill this, but I'm going to fill this with a lightweight filler. And then I'll paint. This is a 2K primer that's on here, so it's a really basically primed. I didn't put a lot on, as you can see, you can still see through. Um, uh, and then I'll paint the final color scheme at a later stage. And, and you can actually see why I put the, the pure ply or the release form because this paper towel sticks quite to, to the epoxy, so that all needs to be sanded off. There's a little ridge here, which is just the where the mylar ended and uh, the epoxy sort of pushed up to the thickness of the mylar but that just gets sanded flat now this gets trimmed off along the trailing edge um, and the whole completed wing once everything is finished as you can see it, it's basically sanded nice and round over here the trailing edge is trimmed off nicely and that's the wing and this weighed a kilogram altogether. I mean this is quite a large wing. You can see it's quite thick. This is the 13% thick airfoil. So um, I'm very chuffed with this. The, the weight is nice. It's comparable to what I wanted. And I think this whole plane without any uh, equipment will probably weigh about six and a half kilograms in total. Obviously there'll be quite a bit of nose weight required, I'm sure, because the, the nose moment is short and the tail is fairly big. So 
a lot of weight to overcome. And there you go, we have a, a nice wing. I'll try and get the camera a little closer so you could just have a squiz down. I know there was sort of like a reflection. Uh, let's try and get a view of it from this end. And there you can see what it looks like.